vlog. It's the middle of November. Time is flying by in like a month and like two weeks. This whole journey will be over and I'll be uh, sharing the script with anybody who wants to read it. Um, yeah, it's going by really fast. Um, Thanksgiving is next week. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, this week, what are we talking about this week? Well, I was asked uh, by Courtney in a comment to uh, show everyone what it's like to toss around ideas for another person or what the feedback process looks like and uh, what I needed help with on this script. Um, so I wrote some notes on my, on my computer. Um, yeah, so the, there was one, uh, one thing that I was really struggling on in the script that I needed to kind of nail down and I I'm I hate being so vague but I have to be because it's it's very important later in the script and uh, will spoil a lot of things if I give too much away but basically um, there there's this item that comes up <laughs> in the script it, and it turns out to be a big important piece and it needed to be somewhat unique so that if you saw someone with it, you would associate it with them. You'd be like, oh, I saw, I saw so-and-so with that same thing, but not too unique to where more than one person couldn't have it, if that makes sense. And I was, I was trying to think of what, I couldn't think of, I couldn't think of something to uh, put in that little box. And so I talked it out with my girlfriend, we bounced ideas off each other, and eventually the perfect item, you know, came to mind. And uh, it's, it's like that a lot of times, just having a conversation about what it is that's troubling you or what you're stuck on. Sometimes you can get lost in your own thoughts. And um, the only way to kind of talk through it is like actually speaking it out and talking, bouncing it off someone else and like hearing your own thoughts come to life, if that doesn't sound too strange. And uh, hearing how other people react to those ideas and thoughts, it's, it unlocks a lot for you if you get stuck. Um, yeah, so, and you know, they, uh, you know, also sharing with people as I get comfortable in this wooden chair that we got for free off the street, the table was also for free. Our stools that we have, they're for free. Almost everything in this apartment is free. Olive, she was free. We found her on the streets. My girlfriend found her on the streets. So yeah, lots of free things. Anyways, <laughs> back back to the script. So there's gonna come, t there's gonna be a time when you're gonna need feedback on your script and, it's, and it might be scary to release it out into the world and hear what others have to say, but you know, two minds are always better than one. Um, and part of becoming a better screenwriter is knowing, knowing what advice, criticism to take and what not to take. You gotta be selective with it. Um, yeah, cause like I said, at some point you're going to need feedback. And you don't, you don't want to react. You don't want to be defensive. You don't want to automatically just disagree with uh, all the notes you get. You don't want to be that person. So even if you think a note is silly or it's not productive, you still, uh, you know, you're, you be, you're appreciative. Show your appreciation. Especially, you know, if someone took the time to read a uh, hundred page, you know, screenplay that you wrote, you. You wanna you wanna make sure that you thank them for their time, and you know um, just don't be don't be a d about it. Even if you disagree, um, you know people for the most part people are just trying to be helpful. You know sometimes they might come across the wrong way, or sometimes they might not get uh, your script. Maybe it's just not for them. Everything is subjective, which is why you need to have multiple eyes on it, multiple minds looking at it and reviewing it. Uh, even, you know, some of the most beloved films in history, there are people who, you know, hate whatever that film may be. So, uh, you know, don't let one 
negative reaction uh, get you two down, but at the same time, don't let one positive um, review get you too high either. You need a you need a sort of balance with it. Um, so yeah, um, I hope some of that made sense. I feel like I uh, got off track there for a minute. Uh, yeah, I think that is about it for this week. Actually, that is not it. I did decide on a title, and um, I think it's at this point it's going to be Still Water Runs Deep. Uh, the, I think the most, the in the Facebook group page, I think the, let me see, the most, uh, uh, yeah, people voted for Secret Santa, uh, four people, and then there was uh, a few for Still Water Runs Deep, and uh, yeah, I think I, I like that one the best, you know, it takes place in Still Water, Oklahoma, kind of, you know, I, I don't know, it feels good to me, it looks good, and I'm going with it right now, so thank you all for your help with that. And um, thank you for the uh, notes and words of encouragement uh, for the uh, 10 pages that were shared on Instagram. I, I liked hearing from you all, and I'll see you next week.